Well, thank you. Thank you so much for coming today. I, I, this has been, you know, so far a day and a half of welcomes, of greetings. Uh, for all of us who work in higher education, this is the most exciting time of the year. You're surrounded by new beginnings. These uh, new students who are uh, be beginning their college careers, whether undergraduate or graduate, uh, you have new faculty beginning their careers at Berkeley, as I remember so vividly when I arrived here as an, an assistant professor of English um, decades ago. Um, and you, you know, you 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 just take that kind of sense of hope and buoyancy from the, from the students. Uh, I want to say just a few words about my goals as chancellor. Then I'm going to introduce uh, some of the members of my team, who will also say a few words, and then we'll have a lot of time for your questions, which I think is the main point of this of this conference. So first, let me talk a little bit about my goals. I have five major goals. Um, the first is building community. Uh, the past several years have been bruising ones for the campus. We've had a financial crisis. We've had um, a leadership crisis. We've uh, had some sexual harassment cases that have been deeply, deeply distressing and concerning to many of us here. And we've also had the violence that accompanied um, the uh, actually unsuccessful appearance of Milo Yiannopoulos in February. Um, so these have taken their toll on, a, on the community, and one of my goals is to rebuild that community. That's a challenge in a place that's as big and as urban and diverse as Berkeley, but I believe it can be done. As Dan was saying, there really is a kind of new hope and buoyancy on campus that is exciting to experience. My second goal is enhancing the undergraduate experience. That's why we're here, to educate the undergraduates. That's why we were founded in 1868, coming up on our 150th anniversary. A very important piece of enhancing the undergraduate experience is increasing our capacity of student housing. We house, um, by far, the lowest percentage of our undergraduates of any of the undergraduate campuses in the UC system, only 22%. We house only 9% of our graduate students. This is unacceptable. I mean, it means that students live in, you know, this is a very expensive um, uh, housing market in which housing is not only costly but hard to find. It means students often live in places that are too crowded, too far away, um, too expensive for them to afford other basic needs. And so one of my highest priorities is to increase our capacity for student housing, both through building on our own land, but also in partnerships with local developers. My third goal is diversity. I think we should be more diverse in our undergraduate student body, our graduate student body, our faculty and our staff. So that will be a really important priority for me and a priority not only in terms of demographics but in building um, of the understanding of inclusiveness and diversity across the campus. Uh, my fourth goal is uh, enabling our faculty to do their very best research in service of the public good. Um, it's one of the most important benefits that we offer to the, to the state of California and indeed the nation and the world. And I've always thought that the job of the administration in this regard is to, um, is to create the enabling conditions and then get out of the way. And then finally, my final goal is to develop a new financial model for the campus, a robust financial model that not only eliminates our deficit, but puts Berkeley on a sustainable footing for the foreseeable future.